Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Tamara. If you're new here, my channel primarily consists of beauty, a little bit of fashion, a little bit of lifestyle. Today I'm bringing you, I think it's my first product review because I tried to do one before and I lost the footage. So I think this is officially my first product review on the page. We are getting into the Fenty Beauty Easy Drop. So I thought, why not bring you guys a review to see if it's actually worth your dollars. So if you're interested to see how this wears, just keep watching. Before we get started, I am filming with a new setup today, coming to you with a new background, new setup, so let me know what you think about it down below. And yes, I am officially braces free, so I think one of the videos that I have, I just don't have my bottom, but now my top and my bottom are gone. And I'm just like a full-time retainer wearer now. Just addressing a few things before we dive right in. But all right, let's get into the product review. So this is the Fenty Beauty Easy Drop. Like I just said, it literally came out like last Friday. Um, it is a blurring skin tint. Um, there is 25 shades. And what they say about the product, I'm just going to read it here, is it's a blurring skin tip that delivers smooth, instantly blurred skin in just a few drops. It's a light to medium long wear coverage. And then they also say that it is hydrating as well. So like I said, there is 25 shades. I'm in the shade 19. I actually tried out 18 because I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll be between like one of these two. But 18 ended up being like a little too light. The way that they seem to categorize it is they more so do ranges. So I'm in the shade 400. So 19 was like 400 to I don't remember exactly what number so instead of having like one for each foundation shade it's more arranged so 19 ended up being more fitting for me I haven't watched any reviews yet because I don't want my views to be biased I wanted to basically just go off of what I think of it I do have some errands to run later so I'm going to put on the foundation do like a wear test for the rest of the day it is I think 1 30 right now without further ado let me stop talking and let's get into the makeup starting with my primer um i don't know if people always use um primer with their skin tint but i just kind of want to do it the same way that i would usually do it if i was wearing foundation so i'm going in with my Too faced foundation or with my Too faced primer i probably should have grabbed my fenty one but i didn't think about that until right now so i already did my brows off camera so we're going to get into the easy drop so like i said they said that you could apply it with your fingers foundation brush or sponge but <laughs> I saw I've seen a lot of people like online just doing little snippets of applying with their fingers but I don't like it so I'm going to use a foundation brush and a sponge on one side so just pouring it out here we're just going to start with one drop you can see it's like a pretty close I don't know how well you can see that but it looks like a pretty close match to my um, foundation shade actually like my 400 looks pretty orange and this looks pretty comparable I don't know if you can see it so I'm going to go in on one side I'm just gonna use the brush and blend it out so so far with just blending out with the brush it blends in pretty well to the skin I don't think I really even see anything so I'm actually going to try two more drops on this side or I might do three cuz yeah cuz it's not really coming out It smells good. It's like a, it smells like all of her other products. So far, so good. I like it. I feel like this will be good for people that like don't want like a super, obviously skin tints are just like kind of like BB creams, but it's, I think this will be good for like uh, people that don't like to wear a lot of makeup. Like I know when I go on vacation, I prefer like, I start with foundation and then as my skin tone starts to change, it's like if it's like super hot, then I stop using my foundation so i think something like this would be perfect to use when on vacation i don't know if you can see the difference so this is with the foundation and then this is just regular i feel like it's a little you can tell it's a little more like sheen here but there's not like a ton of coverage with it so i like it i feel like it it goes on super smooth my ad i can't help it i think i'm gonna add one more drop so i'm just going to speed through this part Alright, so this is like maybe like five drops later. 
this is this side you might be able to it looks like a little bit darker compared to like this side it covers up my marks just like a little bit i have like a sunspot down here that you can still see um but other than that you can't really see too much on this other side so now i'm going to go into the other side and i'm going to use a sponge so i'm using my alori collection sponge on this side actually like black owned dabbing that into the skin Ooh. Ho, ho. i think i actually like it better i only use this sponge once so far but i've he heard really good things about how it doesn't take up a ton of your foundation which can be the issue with sponges I don't know how well you can see you could see my dark marks initially when I before I put it on on the camera um, but like putting this on it actually covered it up pretty well so I think I'm gonna go in with like two more drops on this side and then we're gonna do a regular face all right so that is all blended out this is the side with the sponge and this is the side with the brush. I'm actually surprised because I feel like the side with the sponge is actually more, like I didn't, I used the same amount on either side and I feel like the side with the sponge is actually giving more coverage than the side with the brush. But you let me know what you think if you can tell from side to side. But so far I really like it. I feel like it like really like gives your face like a clear like, I don't know what the best word is to like it's like almost like you have like a filter on i feel like that's what it looks like it kind of just like clears out your face and like smooths it smooths it out that's what i was looking for i think it just like really like smooths out your face and i'm here for it so far i'm gonna see if like the color changes at all um as i wear it throughout the day like if it like oxidizes so far i feel like if you're 400 i feel like 19 will match you perfectly because this literally reminds me of my foundation in the color 400 with Fenty. So I'm just going to do my regular face routine. I'm gonna throw on some concealer, a little bit of powder under the eyes and some bronzer, and I'll check back in with you guys after. I don't know if anybody's ever tried this like camel concealer brush from e.l.f., but I actually really like it. This is maybe my second or third time using it, and this time it was a lot easier to use than the other time. Little pro tip. Well, I asked, I'm just gonna go in with my, I'm just all Fenty out today, my Fenty bronzer in the color Coco Naughty. I feel like I probably could have gotten Mocha Mommy with this because it like shows, but it doesn't really show. We're going for a very chill face. This is like a day to day running errands, wanted to look decent type of look i'm just kidding it's just a product review i'm just talking at this point i'm actually going to add a little dimension to my eyes with this bronzer as well so just going in with my brush and just adding a little bit to the crease so so far even with like adding everything i feel like it still looks like really good um i don't have any complaints so far but i'm interested to see how it wears throughout the rest of the day it blended really well with like my concealer and like obviously the powder because it's Fenty. So far, no complaints. I'm just going to set my face. I don't know if people usually set their face with skin tints, but I'm going to just because I'm going to be putting on a mask later and I want it to rub off as least as possible. So this is my face so far. I feel like so far so good. So I'm going to run a few errands. I'm going to do a few things around the house and then I will check in in a few hours to let you see how it looks it's currently 1:45, so i'll see you in a couple of hours i think i kind of messed with my eyebrows a little bit but this is the fun Ooh, i really like the gleam of this like if you're a glowy girl which i'm usually not the gleam of this like i put nothing on except the skin tint foundation and powder and like girl i like it so far this is only like a few minutes, but I just wanted to show it in sunlight and like matches my skin really well. I think I'm getting back to like my color before I tanned in the Mexico sun. I'm here for it so far. We'll see what it looks like in a couple hours though. So it is now 
5.56. I've had this on for like a good four hours. If I have a little bit of a lisp, um, I'm wearing my retainer. I forgot to take it out. And I still have to get used to it since I just got the bottom one today. But that is besides the point. But I have been wearing this for four hours. I try to zoom in a little bit more. So like if the top of my head's a little bit cut off, that's why. Um, but yes, I've been wearing this for four hours. I would say 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend few things I would say about it, I think it oxidizes because, I mean, using these lights, it's a little bit different than when you go out into natural lighting. Like, you can really tell the differences. Initially, when I was in the natural light, I thought it looked like, like a perfect match. And then, like, a few hours later, I was like, huh, it looks a little bit darker from, like, my face to my chest. So keep that in mind that it does, it does seem to get a little bit darker. So maybe the 18 would have been better, but... Other than that, it looks great on the skin. It definitely gives you like more of like a glow. If you're not like a glowy person, like I'm not a huge glowy person, but I really like the finish of this. You can always put on like more powder just to like kind of settle it down. Um, I don't typically have oily skin. So the sheen that I'm having seems to be mainly from the skin tint. So I don't think I mentioned how much it was before. It is $29.50, which I think is like $10 less than the foundation. So if you're someone that like, wanted to try Fenty Beauty and didn't want to pay for the foundation or if you're just like not a huge makeup person and you just want like a type of like BB cream, I would definitely recommend this. I'd say it's definitely worth the $29.50. As I said, I was not a huge fan of applying it with my fingers. I'm sure that gives you more coverage if you do. But, but compared to the brush side and the sponge side, it could also be the sponge that I use. I really like using the sponge. I feel like it gave me a little more coverage and just looked a little bit smoother. But overall, I definitely say I'm gonna be using this a lot more in my regimen, just like day to day. I think it's gonna be really good for vacation um, when you just don't feel like putting on like a full face and you just want like a little bit of coverage. I would say this is going to be the perfect product for you. And even just like day to day, if you're one of those people that likes to put on like makeup to go to work, I'd say this is something that would be good as well. One thing that I probably forgot to mention is how much product is one fluid ounce for $29.50, which I feel like is not that bad. The bottle is plastic, so I think it's gonna be a little bit easier to travel with because all the other ones are glass, and if you drop it, that's kind of it. But now at this point, I am rambling. I would definitely say if it's something that you're interested in, get it i really like it um i don't have any complaints of it so far this is after four hours of wear though so i mean who knows how long it would be if i wore it for longer i think it's a great product i think it wears well i think it gives you a good amount of coverage you can like build it up it's not like full coverage but like i don't have a ton of dark marks but the little dark marks that i do have it definitely covered them up and like i said previously i'm normal to dry skin so i guess if you have oily skin just maybe apply more powder so you're not getting as much sheen as I am getting now. That is all that I have for you guys today. Hopefully I answered any like lingering thoughts on if you should get the product or if you shouldn't get the product. I personally really liked it. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. So let me know down below if you guys will be picking up this product. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.